I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to discuss questions on dividing fractions. Now, one of the things you want to really keep in mind, and this is what sets apart you know, fractions from other um, kinds of numbers, is that when you're dividing fractions, you're actually multiplying them. There's one fundamental step that you want to keep in mind, and that is focused on the denominator. So let's do an example, and now uh, you'll see where this goes. Suppose you have 4 fifths divided by, let's just say, 2 thirds. Now, when you're dividing a fraction, it's actually a multiplication exercise because it involves taking the denominator and thinking about its reciprocal. So if you think about 2 thirds, the reciprocal of 2 thirds is 3 halves. So instead of dividing by 2 thirds, you're going to take 4 fifths and multiplying it by 3 halves. Now at this particular point, you can either multiply first and reduce later, or you can reduce along the way and then multiply. Whatever's easier. But let's just go ahead and cross cancel, as they say. And the 4 and the 2, as you can tell, is reducible. So we're going to reduce both numbers by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And then you're going to multiply across. 2 times 3 is going to give you 6. And 5 times 1 is going to give you 5. So in actuality, 4 fifths divided by 2 thirds is really going to give you 6 fifths in the very, very end. Now let's do another quick example for you. Suppose you have 3 sevenths and you're dividing by, let's just say, negative 2. Now, if you're dividing by a whole number, what you want to think about is take the denominator and write a fraction in its place. So negative 2 can be thought of, any whole number can be thought of as that number over 1. So 3 sevenths divided by negative 2 is really dividing by negative 2 over 1. And once again, you want to think about its reciprocal. The reciprocal of negative 2 over 1 is negative 1 half. So this is really going to be 3 sevenths times negative 1 half. And then just go ahead and multiply across if you like. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. And 7 times 2 is going to give you 14. So 3 sevenths divided by negative 2 is going to be negative 3 fourteenths. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a couple of examples on questions on dividing fractions.